So what is uh, one of the things that we have been encouraging people to do that we know can help stop and increase before it continues to escalate? And that's to wear masks. Here's what the scientific community says about wearing masks as soon as James shows us what the scientific community says about wearing masks. Come on, Kenneth. Now, that's, that's the Retail Federation. We're going to get there. All right. So it's no longer a question. I understand that the CDC and the federal government told us different things, right? But that doesn't get in the way of what the science absolutely shows now. I don't get to go back and rewrite what they told us. All I get to do is make sure I communicate what the science is unquestionable about, is that a mask helps to stop the spread of COVID. It protects other people from getting it from you. And now there, there are studies showing that it can protect you from getting this virus in the first place. In fact, it's, it's now so accepted that we have 22 different states that have implemented some sort of order mandating uh, face masks. Uh, it can decrease the risk of infection. If you wear one to you, they're saying, by almost 65%. So if you weren't willing to do it for other people before, I hope you're willing to do it for yourself and for your family now. So number one thing that a mask can do is it can protect the health and the life of yourself and those around you. It can make sure we don't lose more people than we should. It can keep our cases down. But the other thing that it can do is help us to continue to reopen our economy. Don't take my word for it. Take Goldman Sachs. Goldman crunched the numbers, and they are saying the difference between people wearing masks and not wearing masks is 5% of our GDP as a country. So if we apply that to Kentucky, the difference in our economy if Kentuckians routinely wear masks versus if they don't, is $10.4 billion. Everyone that wants our economy to stay open, that wants to see these jobs come back, that wants us to see us not only reopen, but stay open and thrive, ought to be wearing a mask every time they're in public. This is one of the most sophisticated companies in the world. And if you extrapolate what they're saying to us, wearing a mask, means $10.4 billion to the Kentucky economy. So today I've signed an executive order uh, that is starting tomorrow at 5 p.m. Uh, going to mandate that Kentuckians um, in public in certain situations must wear a facial covering or mask. What this means is that all customers in retail facilities uh, must wear a mask in grocery stores must wear a mask. And most forward-facing businesses must wear a mask. If you are indoors uh, and you can't get six feet from individuals on anything that's not covered, must wear a mask. And outside, if you cannot be six feet away from another individual, uh, must wear a mask. Now, it's not just us that thinks that this is the right move. The National Retail Federation and the Kentucky Retail Association specifically asked us to take this action. This is the National Retail uh, uh, Federation that wanted us to open and they want to stay open. They're now at 50 percent. They don't want to go back. They've asked every governor to require every individual that's not encumbered by a medical condition to wear masks when shopping in public places. This is to protect the employees, to protect the businesses, and to protect the customers uh, themselves. Uh, we are filing this order uh, right now. It's going to be available for the public to see. It's going to start out running one month, 30 days. I want to see how well we can do in 30 days. It's going to be enforced by local health departments and others. And it's going to be as simple as if someone won't wear a mask uh, in your place of business, then they cannot be served. It's that simple. When you go into a restaurant or a bar, if you're waiting in line outside, you've got to wear a mask and inside until you're ready to eat, we're wearing one too. We cannot let where we are, 333 cases, turn into 3,352. And the reason that Kentucky has done so well is we took early, aggressive action. We all bought in and we did it together. Guess what? We are at that same moment. 
that same moment that we were before. But we don't have to shut everything down if we will all follow these instructions and wear a facial covering in these circumstances where it can spread. If we do this, and if we really do it, not just when we think other people are watching, I believe that we can keep restaurants open at 50 percent. I believe we can keep retail open at 50 percent. I believe that we can keep the things that we have opened up open. And if we do it, I think we've got a shot at sports that other states are worried about right now. But it's on us. It's on us. It's really going to come down to whether we let personal pride or some belief that we have liberty to spread this thing to others and therefore shouldn't have to wear something like this. It's all going to come down to whether we are willing to do it, whether we truly care about each other and our economy, and whether we're willing to put some personal feelings if we don't like wearing these. And I believe that's maybe 20% of people. If we can put those feelings aside and serve the greater good. And honestly, folks, in the midst of a worldwide health pandemic, wearing a mask makes a lot of sense. And is it too much to ask? I don't think so. So that's it, our future. Our future and what we can do in this state, how our economy rebounds, how safe our people are going to be, the health and the lives of Kentuckians, all depends on our ability to wear uh, one of these. It's no longer voluntary, it's mandatory, and I'm willing to take whatever criticism comes uh, with that. Understand that there are some exceptions. If you have a health condition where you can't do it, kids under five certainly, uh, don't have to do it. Uh, if you are alone in a, in a single room, you don't have to do it. If you're just with your household in your house, you certainly don't have to do it. If you're exercising and six feet away from people, you don't have to do it. But if you're going to the grocery store, put one of these on and protect uh, your fellow human being. I'd hope that we wouldn't have to, to get to a point where we mandated things. I'd hope that we'd all be willing uh, to do the, the right thing. But I think that the amount of time that we've dealt with this, our anxiety, cabin fever, you know, all of it's added up. But it's time to get serious. It's time to stop our escalation now. It's time to push these numbers back down to a manageable and reasonable plateau. And it's time to make sure that we're bringing in all these jobs we're talking about and stimulating the jobs we have while we are doing it. We've reached out to a number of people about this. Uh, we reached out to the Chamber of Commerce, and while they're obviously going to look over um, the, the different pieces of it, the business community in Kentucky are supportive. They get it. They get that to continue, um, uh, to, to, continue to, to open or stay open, uh, that we have to wear these masks. Um, sometimes we think of Chamber of Commerce and Labor on opposite sides. They're not. Uh, a lot of our labor leaders, uh, John Stovall being a great one, representing a lot of the bus drivers out there. Remember, we lost a bus driver uh, in Fayette County early on in this. Also supports this additional step uh, to keep members safe. Uh, I know we reached out to Mayor Gordon of Lexington. Um, very supportive, uh, seeing what they are seeing. Uh, there, it is just time to do it. My hope is that we'll do this for 30 days, we'll see cases decrease significantly, and then we can look at whether we need to re-up it or not. But let's not uh, stop doing what it takes to defeat uh, this virus. Did I miss anyone else's quote? Put one more up. Yeah. It's Coach Cal, and yes, I am ready for basketball. I'm ready to get our students back on campus, but we got to protect each other. We've got to wear our mask. If you go in a building, if you're going to be in social distancing range inside of six feet, have a mask. It protects everybody, but we're hearing now it'll protect you. We in our state have done an unbelievable job. Let's take it up a notch. This is kind of like what I'm coaching. We're winning and I'm being even harder. We are winning. Let's be stronger. Understand, this isn't a statement. The only statement we make when we put a mask on is we care about you. And to be honest, now they're saying you're caring about yourself. Wear that mask, folks. Thanks.
You're going to be seeing other well-known personalities in Kentucky other than Coach Cal giving similar messages. I do want to thank him. He volunteered uh, to, to, to do this. And, uh, we appreciate his willingness to, to get out there and to get out there early on it.